Uh, okay, so thank you so much. Uh, I'm so happy to be with you and seeing so many young uh, faces, uh, especially um, hearing that a lot of of uh, people who uh, just took the floor today asking a question or giving uh, um, giving uh, their opinions uh, representing uh, institutions with the name of John Paul II. This is uh, very nice to hear that, uh, especially that uh, um, our region, kujawsko pomorskie region in Poland, uh, is the first uh, region uh, in the world who has patronage um, of uh, John Paul II. This is the first region because uh, Pope uh, John Paul II is the patron of a lot of cities in the world, but our region was the first in the world that uh, we have all patron um, John Paul II. And uh, coming back to the topic, um, uh, this is a map of Europe uh, with Poland and um, a map of Poland with the location of our region is visible. Oh, no, no, come back, please come back because it's very important. Or maybe this is my role to change the moment somebody who is operate oh yes thank you i will give the sign uh, uh, when we can change the slide so if you can see uh, this is our region uh, located on this map and uh, of course you can see also the um, location of ukraine so you can see that this is the our direct neighbor that we have just you know on the uh, right side of uh, our our uh, borders um, and to, i will talk a little bit about the situation that we faced exactly please next uh, slide oh thank you that uh, exactly on 24th of February, we just faced with new situation. Uh, so this year, this day became an unexpected day that set the priorities for action for the coming weeks, months, and maybe the years. We have updated our uh, project here in our region, but not only um, we as a region, but the whole Poland, to the current situation that uh, you know required uh, quick intervention. During the last uh, months since uh, February, the Polish border with Ukraine was crossed by five and nine million people came from ukraine uh, the vast majority were mothers with children women of all ages few men over 60 years of age as you know all men between 18 and uh, 60 years old had to stay in their country to fight the war uh, although is it difficult to agree, especially when you have your own children, that a boy at the age of 18 is already a man to fight in the war. Please, uh, next slide. Okay, thank you. There are some pictures uh, that you can just see the real situation that Ukrainians very often fled their homes as they stood, often with a small suitcase in their hand or even a plastic bag. What became a phenomenon, thanks to the polls, was a mass mobilization where the society immediately organized itself, on the one hand opening its, home, its homes to refugees and on the other bringing its own cars from the border. In this way, the relocation of refugees deep into Poland took place. It should be added that among Poles 
who wanted uh, to provide refugees with a safe home. There are also those who are not wealthy, they are not rich, uh, that they have uh, a small two or three room apartment. Poles immediately began to collect food, clothes, and necessary items. Next uh, slide, please. The photo you can see is prams left by Polish mothers at the train station for Ukrainian women coming by train from the border to Warsaw. Next uh, slide, please. Tos, the wave of refugees was growing very fast in our region every day. Uh, this is my third time when I was asked to present for um, international uh, audience. First one was in March that we met in Brussels, Ignacio, if I well remember. After that in May, and uh, this number of uh, coming refugees uh, still growing. Uh, I thought that in May um, the number will stop, would stop, but unfortunately, as I was surprising today uh, when I checked uh, the, the number for today. So coming back to our topic, as you can see uh, uh, on the pictures, um, authorities of our region uh, Mm, undertook a number of activities and initiatives that uh, were dedicated both to the people who came to us. As part of the project, we have created in three main cities in our region, uh, Bydgoszcz, Torun and Wrocław, information and advisory points acting as a coordinator, command points, uh, providing uh, substantive services for citizens from Ukraine, such as legal assistance, assistance in finding accommodation, employment, placing um, the child in the school, psychological assistance, as well as providing the necessary basic sanitary items, clothes, food, etc. Next slide, please. Um, as I mentioned, in the first days of the war, our health mainly concerned uh, was con concerned uh, the supply of the most basic items. But refugees also came with the most basic question, what next? You know, we, we thought uh, probably everywhere in Europe um, that this uh, war uh, would end uh, very fast very in, in the very near future. But as we can see now, this is more than six months, uh, actually. So I would like uh, to add that the most of them, uh, refugees, uh, don't speak any foreign language. So the help of the translators from people who speak their native language was necessary. Everyone asked first how to legalize a stay in Poland, where to find a job, how to enroll children in school. Later, it turned out that the help of representatives of Ukrainian diplomatic missions here in Poland was needed immediately because often the refugees had no documents or someone had to confirm their um, authenticity, because uh, as you know, if they uh, came only with plastic bags, so um, it wasn't possible to have all uh, documents that we collect during our whole life. Uh, the photos on the slide um, show the queue of peoples, um, of people uh, two hours before the opening of the point for a meeting with the Ukrainian consul from Gdańsk, who came to Torun and to other cities to help refugees uh, during one day 
200 people received help. Next slide, please. Having experience with the pandemic, we Im immediately launched an e-school in Ukrainian, not only for children to attract their attention, but also for adults offering Polish language lessons. In addition, we launched a free lunch point for refugees from the very beginning, where we spent over 2,000 meals by the end of March only. Uh, in the late spring, we stopped to giving the uh, food for free because it was uh, another um, kind of uh, support from our uh, state government. I will tell later about that. Simultaneously with the employment office, we registered the professions um, of refugees and required uh, companies from the region to immediately offer jobs. From our partner district, uh, I mean our um, partnership region in Ukraine, uh, Chmielnicki Oblast, we hosted uh, the entire care center, uh, 60 people of all ages, deeply handicapped, with only six staff members and their families. Uh, so it was 100 people in total. Uh, the level of disability forced us to set up a psychiatric hospital with 24-hour professional care, and in addition with the Ukrainian language. Next uh, slide, please. At the same time, we were able uh, to obtain uh, gifts from many foreign partners and companions from the region, starting with clothes, cleaning products, sanitary articles, medicines, or food. Uh, at that time, we used uh, three warehouses where our employees, I mean from our regional um, administration, from our office, uh, 60 officials who came from behind the desks segregated products to prepare the shipment of humanitarian aid and as a result uh, over i think more i will have on the next slide uh, um, exact number um, points organized in uh, our region by other uh, offices our administration uh, points for refugees or host families, because also people who um, uh, started to be host families uh, needed uh, even till now uh, support with providing uh, some uh, articles. Um, what is most touching for us um, are the requests from our partners. So far, we have sent. 40 transports of humanitarian aid to Ukraine. Next slide, please. So thanks to our international cooperation, you can see that we received a lot of uh, uh, transports um, with humanitarian aid from uh, Great Britain, from Scotland, from Germany, from Belgium, from France. Uh, also, uh, I can see here the, the map of uh, United States uh, that we received a lot of uh, mattresses uh, for bed that we sent directly to Ukraine to our uh, friends from uh, Chmielinski Oblast because uh, if they have, you know, uh, homes in ruins, probably it's better to sleep uh, on the mattress or only on the pure floor. Next slide, please. So uh, this is the, the map of uh, points 
uh, that those uh, 40 transports uh, uh, was sent, uh, as you can see also on the east of Ukraine, that still the war is very heavy with uh, bombs. So we are so happy um, having the chance uh, to, to support, to help not only refugees uh, in our region that they came to our region, but also people in need in Ukraine. Next slide, please. Yes, this is uh, the information, as I mentioned before, uh, because, of course, uh, we, we, we had in our city the points, uh, support points for refugees, but also uh, offices in our region, um, administration offices uh, organized uh, uh, support points, and we also sent the the humanitarian aid uh, to to those points. But we are also happy that we could send uh, directly to Ukraine. Next slide, please. Yes, the, there are some pictures uh, from our work since the uh, beginning of March. Uh, on all those uh, uh, photos, you can see my colleagues from my team. Uh, we can just go through the um, pictures, through the slides, please, next one. Yes, this is my team. My colleagues, Kasia, Marlena, Veronika, uh, probably I am the author of this photo, that we really hardly work. As I mentioned, 60 people from our office uh, were involved uh, in preparation. Uh, it was our uh, priority just to help people here in Poland and and uh, in Ukraine. Next uh, next uh, picture. Yes, this is one of the our stock, our warehouse. Next uh, slide. Still, uh, still um, boxes with our help, with our logo, we have uh, and uh, Pomorza. Next slide. And this is very interesting uh, because in uh, those um, uh, transports uh, we received also some some you know surprises from prepared from children uh, from Belgium exactly this is from Belgium uh, addressed to Ukrainians children uh, what was for us, very touching, and of course, we uh, forward those letters, those pictures, those creations to, to um, address people. Next slide, please. You can see also uh, letters uh, signed uh, um, pictures just to uh, not to lose hope for a better future. Next, um, next, uh, yes, this is the next uh, photos from our job uh, with organizing. Of course, we also uh, involve any insti uh, other institutions uh, to help us to transfer uh, the, those uh, aid to Ukraine. Next um, picture. Yeah, this is the proof of our job. Next picture, please. This is my boss. This standing man is my boss, Marshal of the Kujawsko Pomorskie region, Mr. Piotr Saubecki. Uh, with uh, our um, friend from Scotland, that uh, Jim personally. Um, came with uh, the transfer, driving uh, one of the cars with this uh, humanitarian aid. So it is, uh, you know, um, for us, it was really um, important moments that we could uh, help 
No, no, we, we, we could uh, um, rely on our real friends that uh, uh, they organized uh, their selves to help us, but not us, because we don't need help. It helped us to help others, and it was really fantastic. Next slide, please. Yes, this is the second uh, warehouse. Uh, also with our officers from office. Next slide. This is my the, the closest uh, friends uh, from my team. My deputy director Magda and uh, my colleague, uh, head of division of international cooperation, Denis. Uh, what was uh, very interesting uh, even you know looking from the sociological point of view that um, we are so active team that there is no problem for us uh, for um, physics i mean physical job physical work physical effort to do something what is not connected with you know officers uh, in the office and giving the good example we had really good volunteers from other departments from our office. And this is very interesting uh, observation for us. Next slide, please. That uh, people, uh, yes, it's me and uh, other my boss, Deputy Marshal. Uh, uh, it was uh, transferred from Germany this time that uh, our um, um, French friendly region, Saxonia Anhalt, uh, offered uh, the big uh, transfer of humanitarian aid. Ne next slide. And those pictures are from Ukraine. This is the proof uh, that uh, our aid uh, was delivered. Uh, of course, we have a lot of photos uh, because a lot of points that we uh, sent uh, our aid, uh, but of course, uh, always we just uh, uh, try to find uh, find uh, the logos of our products. So this is the proof from Ukraine that uh, it was successfully delivered. Next, um, and families in Ukraine. This is not from Poland. This is from Ukraine. Next, next photo, please. And this is um, also special thanks uh, to us, to our volunteers, to our um, Ukrainians here, because uh, they all they were also involved uh, in um, sending uh, in. Uh, addressing humanitarian aid because uh, we heard the situation that it was organized uh, on the Ukrainian um, side, the hub point uh, that all the humanitarian aid uh, from Poland came to one point and from this point uh, was delivered to other points. We didn't want to act this way. We wanted to just uh, send the aid from our hand to our friend's hand without any, you know, half points or uh, other, um, other, you know, steps um, between point and destination. And this is the proof that, uh, yes, uh, our uh, aid successfully uh, came. Next point, please, next slide. And we also received uh, those kind of uh, gifts uh, with thanks from Ukraine, sometimes with, uh, I think that this flag uh, came from the front, I mean, from, from the signs, signs are from soldiers. So yes, still very, touching for us. Next uh, slide. And yes, and this is the question, what next? 
So the current situation looks like um, this. Many Ukrainians returned to Ukraine during the summer holidays. Our government offered uh, help to refugees for six months after their arrival here. Six months have just passed or will pass in the moment. Due to the war, a large part of the world is strugg struggling with the energy problem. This has an impact on the rising inflation in Europe and other countries. This affects the financial condition of Poles who simply cannot afford to keep additional people at home. So, you know, it's quite difficult for us here uh, still have Ukrainians at homes and, uh, you know, to pay for everything. Um, as there are different people in every community, the opinion uh, is spreading uh, that not everyone, not everyone Ukrainian, uh, wants to go to work. And when they do, unfortunately, they are a little bit lazy. So we can give more points and more, but in a word, the honeymoon in Poland is over. So in the first reaction, we opened our hearts, we opened uh, our homes, but now is the time that, yes, we also um, are probably in the very near future, we will face new problems, new old problems. Um, because, uh, you know, this uh, moment is that tomorrow in Poland starts uh, new school year. New school year means that Ukrainians, young Ukrainians, come back to school. Uh, we will see tomorrow how many children came back to school. Because as I told you before, a lot of people from uh, Poland, but Ukrainians came back to Ukraine because it's very difficult um, to, to uh, stay here, only mothers, only grandmothers, only children, without any men thinking what uh, are going on in Ukraine. Uh, so they decided to come back. And uh, we are also thinking that coming uh, autumn and winter season, uh, will will give us a new wave of refugees because uh, the bigger part of Ukraine is destroyed. So it means that probably people, even they uh, come uh, came back uh, for holiday, will come back again to Poland. Uh, I have to end on this point. Of course, this is uh, still the big topic for us and we can say a lot uh, as you can uh, could see on the photos uh, we really um, gave our hearts uh, to help people but now is the time for questions thank you for your attention i'm ready for answering um, I was wondering what are the education that you have made with the ukrainian refugees mm -hmm. um, as a region, as I uh, mentioned in my presentation, we, we opened our e-school, I mean online school. But of course, uh, our government uh, decided uh, it took time, unfortunately, but um, it was in April probably that uh, it was special regulations for schools that they uh, they they are obliged to open special classes special preparation classes for ukrainians um separate classes for children 
who don't speak Polish. And we have also some uh, Ukrainians who uh, have Polish roots or even uh, have been in Poland with parents and they uh, communicate in Polish. So the, those children uh, were included to normal Polish classes. Hello, um, I'm, do you hear me correctly? Yeah. Okay, I'm Federico Chamas. I'm an alumni from Universidad Panamericana. And recently I went to Spain and I had the pleasure to visit one refugee center. And I heard some families were returning to Ukraine. And my question is, now if they return or if they stay, how do we encourage them to, to feel safe, to feel united in their families? And if they are separated, how do we help them? How would they help the family to stay together? even though they are in at a distance and at war. This is, uh, yes, this is the problem. So, um, mm, even they mm, come back to Ukraine, it's there is no guarantee that family will be re re reunited because still men, um, are uh, under the con I mean um, management of army. So it means that a lot of men, even including young boys, uh, as I mentioned, 18 years old, are obliged to be ready to be uh, ready to go to the front, but still be in army. So we know from uh, women that they are even being in Ukraine, they are still worrying about uh, their husbands, fathers, because they are still in front. I mean, on the war, in the war. But here in uh, Poland, unfortunately, this is very, um, it's not often to see um, full family completed family, just only mothers and children, grandmothers, uh, mothers and children, or only uh, old men. So uh, from our point of view, we have to think about um, giving uh, the Ukrainians the hope but the hope is only uh, that time that we can effectively, uh, socially include them to our society. This is the big challenge for us.